Hello, my lovely, lovely Libras. How are you? I am here to do your daily general reading. I'm going to go ahead and start by rolling the zodiac die to see what signs might be around you, influencing you, or that you might be dealing with. Sagittarius, it looks like Virgo, Leo, Capricorn, Aries, and Taurus today. I hope you guys are all doing well, that you're happy and healthy and having some fun in life, getting out and making connections with people, finding peace in your life, finding joy and happiness. All right, let's go ahead. And I want to mention, um, if this message doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with the message. It means that the message is not meant for you. Tarot is fluid and the messages are general. So if you're looking for a specific answer to a question, please feel free to contact me or any other tarot reader for a personal reading, which will give you details specifically for you and you alone. Otherwise, these are general readings. And they are not going to resonate with everybody. Take what does and leave the rest for somebody else. When you try to make somebody else's story your own, you're making your own life miserable. So don't do that. There's no sense in doing that, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get your reading going here. Your overall energy. Look at that. Your dreams can come true. Nine of Cups. Two of Swords. Seven of Swords. King of Pentacles. The death and rebirth energy card here. Ooh, that's beautiful together. Judgment card, Knight of Cups, the moon, and the sun. This is a fantastic reading. The energy is incredible here. You're coming out of an energy of having made a decision and you are looking to the future. Look. Look at this, and you know your dreams are going to come true because through sheer will, you're going to make it so. Okay, you are determined to make whatever you want happen to happen. All right, so we do have a blinder on about something, okay? But I'm also seeing that you're having to defend yourself against this. You're standing your ground, and you're, you're questioning yourself is what you believe reality is it the reality what i'm hearing here is yes absolutely what you're thinking is true you can have this abundance this happiness this joy this success that you are looking for you will need to see things clearly and you may need to instead of defending yourself against other people include certain people into your inner circle to help guide you You've got a king of pentacles here. This to me is your energy right now. You are standing strong. You're confident. You're competent. You know what you're capable of. Okay. And I'm seeing here too, people are trusting you, coming to you for advice. And if they aren't doing that right now, they will be soon. Okay. Because you are in a transitional period. You are transforming from the old you to the new you. I have to stop for just a second. I have to show you what's happening here. There is a whole family of baby turkeys and mommy turkeys walking past my window right now. <laughs> I think you can see the one there. The baby's already went over that way. But there's a whole stream of them going through. And I just thought I would share that with you. I love nature. And I'm so, so grateful for what I have here. You know, And I love to share that with other people. All right, back to your wonderful reading here. Let me zoom back out. Okay, sorry for the interruption, but I do like to share that nature. I love nature. Okay, um, that's not quite where I was, but we'll get you there. We'll get you there. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Not my intention. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is you're transforming, okay? You're transforming your life through choice. You're putting to rest some things that... Um, some beliefs, some self-sabotaging beliefs that held you back. You're, you're, you're ending that. 
you're seeing things in a brand new light and you're giving it up to the universe to handle the bigger stressors in your life, okay? You're, you're finally connecting intuitively with God, the divine, your um, elevated ancestors, anybody that you consider your higher power. You're trusting in them to help you manage your life, to get through your life, to take away the things that don't work for you and guide you down the right path, okay? For some of you, there is an offer of love coming in here, okay? A heartfelt offer of love. For most of you, this is not romantic love. This is somebody who wants to be there to support you, okay? Unconditional love. So I'm feeling like a parent, a sibling, a friend. Somebody who really, really just wants to be there for you. They see how hard you're working, how much you're trying, <clears throat> how you are succeeding in life, and they just want to be there to support you. I love unconditional love like that. That is beautiful love, okay? We do have something that you feel is hidden from you here, but again, it's not a, a big issue because it's about to come to light, and I'm really hearing from my guides, that this is a spiritual situation. So something, a, a belief you had, or something that you didn't realize spiritually, you are going to have revealed to you. And it is going to open up your heart, your soul. I, I mean, you are just going to feel so much bliss from this. Happiness, contentedness, a, a feeling of connectedness with Everybody, the, the collective conscious with the universe, with God and all of his spirits, um, you're connected and you're feeling that connection and you are feeling abundant. Let me go ahead and find some clarifying cards here, messages. Don't forget if this uh, is resonating with you, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If this message turns out to be yours, go ahead and claim it in the comments. That would be fantastic. Okay. All right, got something flipped over here for the Two of Swords. We've got the Three of Wands and the Seven of, of Cups here. Let me make sure nothing else flipped. Okay, looks good. Oh my gosh, look at this. On the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups, okay? Yeah, you're making your reality happen here. You are seeing your dreams come true. You were confused. Here's this, the confusion right here in the Two of Swords. You're wearing the blinder. You had a lot of options. You weren't sure which way to go. You made a decision. You left something behind, okay? And you've made a decision to focus on your future, not the past. Now you're just going to hold steady. Trust the divine, okay? Trust in the divine powers that be to bring you exactly what you need, what you're looking for. You're going to hold your ground. Okay, this is fantastic. Look at that. Your dreams come true. Satisfaction, happiness. You did this, by the way. You're bringing this in by releasing in a non judgmental way. You're not, when things don't go right, let me backtrack. When things go right, you're like, yes, divine, I appreciate that. God, I appreciate everything you're doing for me. I love it. Thank you so much. And you're filled with gratitude. But then for some of you, when something doesn't go quite the way you wanted it to go, you get angry. Why, God, didn't you give me what I want? This is baloney. And nobody tells me the truth. Everything is false. No, that, that's not gratitude. You have to be in gratitude all the time, okay? You have to believe that your wishes will come true, but you have to understand that it's not always what you want that's best for you. And the divine God, spirits, everyone's orchestrating everything to help you get what is for your higher good, okay? So because you didn't judge, because you kept the faith, Okay, because you said, oh, well, that didn't work out quite the way it pl I planned. It must be your divine guidance and timing and direction that's taking the lead right now. I trust you to bring me what's good for me. Okay, because you did that, the universe, God, and everyone else can bring that to you. Okay, 
but it can't work if you're fighting it one day and being great grateful the next day. You have to stay in gratitude and have faith. If you don't believe in something happening, it's not you're right. It won't. If you believe in it happening, it will happen. It will happen in the timing that it's meant to happen in. Okay? Okay, so right now you're going to sit back and you're just going to watch as things go as they progress, okay? You know that you have all the tools at your disposal to do what you want to do, okay? You just need to trust yourself to work with spirit, okay? So you're going to watch, see what's happening here. Get the information that you need to get. And let the past be the past. No more stress, no more sleepless nights. Sleepless nights are nothing more than our own stress keeping us awake. Okay, when we trust in the universe, you'll find you can put your head on your pillow and be asleep within five minutes because you're not worrying about how to take care of something. You're letting go of control. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and clarify the king of pentacles here. Look at this. You're ending a, a cycle of self-limiting beliefs. You are finally realizing that you can give it up to the universe to take care of it. This is a beautiful end of a cycle, and you are really stepping up here into this King of Pentacles energy. Yes, you're trusting yourself first. Uh, and when you trust yourself, other people around you can trust you. They see your loyalty, okay? They see your commitment, your stability, your groundedness, your earthiness, your goodness. Yeah. You were at a crossroads. You made your decision right here. You've made your decision and you're looking towards your future, not the past. You cannot change the past. Nope. Can't do anything about the past. All you can do is focus on the here and now and what you would like out of the future. All right. And you do have success. You have success coming in here if you focus on the future, which I see most of you doing. All right. Let's go ahead and clarify the death and rebirth energy here, please. Death and rebirth energy, please. Oh, that's just a few too many. Oh, well, we got the magician facing up. Okay, so again, you're letting things go, reworking how you think about things, and bringing the new ideas into fruition. You're working towards your happy life. You're working towards successful um, accomplishment of your goals. You want happiness, okay? Abundance. And you can have these things, and you are working very well towards these things, okay? All right. So we do have the Six of Cups here. I got two energies from this immediately. Of course, the one is is that um, somebody from your past may be coming back. I'll talk more about that in a second. The first one was a return to... A way of thinking before society put all these ideals in your head about how you should live life. Okay? So a really good book I'm going to recommend. I've recommended it before. Um, it's called The Code of the Extraordinary Mind by Vishen Lakhiani. I said Lock, I said it wrong last time. It's Lakhiani, I believe is how you say it. Anyways, it's a very well-known book. You can um, get a free copy of it, I'm pretty sure, on Kindle or whatever. Um, but this book will help you to see how society has played a role in how you believe, what you believe about things, okay? So what I'm seeing here in this card for most of you here is a realization that you've been living by somebody else's rules that don't really make any sense, they just don't make sense, okay? So you're returning to that um, prior innocence, knowing that you are a part of the divine, okay? That you are meant to have everything on earth that you want out of life that's good for you, that's good for the higher purpose, for everyone, okay? So you're returning to that. You're getting rid of those self-limiting beliefs. Now, for a few of you, because we do have the Knight of Cups here, we have somebody who, from your past, this could be a friend. Like I said, this was not necessarily um, romantic love. I was getting a very strong sense of unconditional love. Somebody um, that just wants to be there, support you. It could 
grow into romantic love at some point. But to start, it's somebody from your past that you've already known. You had probably a pretty good connection with, even if it was just brief. Okay? And this does not mean an ex-lover. This could be anybody from your past. Okay. So you are working in the right direction. You have all the tools that you want. Okay? You are watching um, and making judgment calls about your past life and moving into what you want in the future. And that's a happy home, happy life. Balance. Okay? Healthy and happy. Awesome. I'm loving this reading for you guys. I hope you are too. All right, let's see if we can find out more about this judgment energy here. Well, we got the seven of wands that came out on the seven of wands. So, um, standing firm in what you do believe now, okay? Letting the past go. This is like a day of reckoning where you're just saying, you know what? Divine is calling you up. God's calling you up. The angels are calling you up saying, um, you need to let this past thought process, these past issues go. We will take care of you. Bring yourself into this beautiful new life, okay? And stand firm in what you now believe. Yes, it's good for you, okay? Look, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Fantastic. This is awesome. Anything else here? Somebody may be coming towards you with a message. Yeah, that's why you may be defending yourself. Somebody may be challenging you about your beliefs. Okay, so I just got a message that somebody is in a strict religious home. Okay, your beliefs are shifting. Not You're not leaving the belief system. You're, you're shifting how it affects your day-to-day -day life, okay? So somebody may come forward, and I, I'm, I'm, I think you're going to have enough enough um, like information about your change, this transformation that you've got, that you'll be able to have an intelligent conversation with this person, and it will turn out well for you, okay? You may even um, help this person to feel successful too, okay? I'm not talking about shifting their change, their beliefs. Leave that. Leave people's beliefs alone. Focus on your own, okay? And I think if you can successfully have a conversation about why you've changed, then sometimes the benefits there without um, trying to make somebody change too. But I see this as a victory for you, that. Whoever confronts you, whoever comes towards you and says, why do you feel this way? Why are you changing? Don't you know how wrong this is? You're not going to fly off the handle. You're going to handle it just fine. You're going to have an intelligent conversation and speak clearly about why. You know, what what ideals did you realize did not work for you? Okay. All right, let's go on to the Knight of Cups here. So, yeah, you're going to stand your ground. You're going to be gentle you're just going to stand there and listen to what they have to say. You're going to hear them out, okay? And then they're going to hear you out. So that's an adult conversation. Very nice. Very good way to handle it. All right, too many cards. Let's go ahead and clarify the Knight of Cups here, please. Clarification of the Knight of Cups. There we go. Oh, an epiphany. Something's going to come at you out of the blue. This person isn't... They may call you up out of the blue. They may show up on your doorstep. That You may run into them in a public place completely unexpected. Yeah, this is going to happen very, very fast. Oh, this could be a soulmate coming back for some of you. But there is a connection here. There is definitely a connection here between you and this person... That's going to come towards you, okay? Or you're going to encounter them. I'm not even seeing them like coming towards you or you going towards them. It's like a chance encounter or a phone call, a text message. But it's like a natural thing. So like you make a post on a social media, on your social media, and all of a sudden this person is commenting 
okay? And they haven't commented on anything in maybe three years. And then all of a sudden that starts this really cool conversation between the two of you. Or, you know, it can happen in any sense like that, okay? But it's all about our choices here. And whether we recognize the good in the connection or not. So you will need to pay attention, okay? All right. And I'm sure all my intelligent Libra, Libra, Libras, who I love to pieces. You guys are awesome, by the way. I, I appreciate you coming to my defense. I have to say that. Um, coming to the defense of tarot. That the understanding is that not all messages are for everybody. Okay? Take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, yeah, and we don't need to be rude. Okay? We don't need to be mean. We don't need to be condescending. All right? So I do appreciate each and every one of you that came to my defense recently because we are going to be getting more and more comments like that where people are saying, you know, mean things. YouTube's really good about filtering out most of those things. However, there will be the occasional. I appreciate you coming to my defense. If you want to do that, remember, do it just the way it's been done so far with consideration and kindness towards the person. If you do not want to engage simply report the person or just leave it alone, okay? And I can take care of it. But I do appreciate your support. I, I will say um, the first couple of you that jumped in there like that, um, you really brought tears to my eyes and broke, I mean, broke my heart open in a good way, making me want to uh, share again. So thank you for that, okay? I want you to know that. Oh my gosh, there are cards like trying to fall out all over the place here. <laughs> All right, so the first one that came out clarifying the moon was the Crossroads cards, okay? And the Hangman came out right after that. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so earlier I said that you there was something that may or may not, um, you may not know, okay? But it wasn't a major thing, because here's your path all lit up, okay? So as soon as you started to think about it, the answer became very clear, to give it up to the divine, okay? Let the divine take care of this for you. Don't get yourself stuck in a... Don't get yourself stuck in this, oh, am I seeing the right thing or not? Am I doing the... No, 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 no. If you're going to trust the divine, trust the divine, okay? And that's that's kind of that crossroads that you were at here. However, the sun is here, Um it, it, this is going to be perfectly okay. Okay. Let's clarify the sun energy here. Oh, see, I told you the truth is going to come out. There's a sword of Michael, and this is the true sword. Okay. And once you get that clarity, once you have that truth, and it, the truth can be having your belief um, your new belief verified, having the old belief proven wrong, it can be anything. It could be a truth that somebody comes to you and tells you, or just something you realize. But once that happens, you are filled with bliss, happiness, exuberance. This is the best card in the deck, and most every tarot reader's um, opinion, because it's it's all about clarity okay and you've got two forms of clarity here honesty um joy abundance i mean it's the whole gamut okay nothing is hidden anymore and you are completely connected to everything out there and you're feeling whole you know h-o-l-e complete joyous Yeah, what you've been working for, you've accomplished. Oh, you're feeling inspired and ready to take the lead. And look at that. You are going to boss up. Yeah, you are You are going to own this. Your future. You are owning this. All right. I love that. Let's see what you may not see coming. Okay. Or what the outcome is going to be. We've got the King of Wands, we've got the Five of Cups, and then we've got the Four of Wands. So, we got the King of Pentacles here, but now we've got the King of Wands. Okay, so we, we just saw that you were striving towards something new here, okay? You are going to elevate up into 
the the mm. you are going to step into the role easily okay you're going to level up you're just going to like be capable of doing exactly what need what needs to be done okay and you're letting this is the five of cups what i'm hearing is is you're letting releasing all past regrets you're just going to say you know what it's the past let it go if it if it goes down here in, in the drain i don't have to see it anymore i don't have to think about it anymore i don't have to hold on to it i'm releasing all my regrets i'm releasing all of my regrets all of my pain all of my everything to the divine and once you do that there's that happy home happy life meeting your goals accomplishing what you set out to connectedness passion you've got fire up here okay exploration adventure i think a lot of you have been missing that you've been kind of cloaked in um a night mode where you're kind of like just existing you're not living but this this card here right now today is saying I want to get out there and explore. I want to see this world that I live in. I want to feel a part of this world. I want to enjoy things that I used to in the past. I'm getting like somebody used to like going to circuses, going to exhibits, fairs, getting out there. And you're ready to go do that again. Okay? You're not going to sit in this twilight life anymore. You want to get out there in the sun, in the wind. You want to feel the wind through your hair. <laughs> it's beautiful energy. I love that. Okay. I'm going to leave it here today. <clears throat> I appreciate each and every one of you. If this resonated, thumbs up. If it's yours, drop it, me a comment or claim it in the comments. And if you have not subscribed to this awesome, awesome Libra community that we have here, plus all the other members, it's mainly a Libra community, but we're all part of this community. I would invite you to do so by doing any of the things I just mentioned or subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you here with us, okay? All right, guys, until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.